Hey, this is Andrew Bush, who's ministering on the West Bank in Palestine. And I thank you for being interviewed. I just got a few questions. How did you know that God was calling you into missionary service? Uh, well, thanks, Steve. It's great to be here, and I really appreciate um, Cooper City Church of God. I want to just thank you all for your giving and your faithfulness. We knew we had this this longing, really, to serve uh, the church internationally, and it just grew in us to where uh, we just felt that uh, doing anything else would have been wrong. Um, I think if anything else will make you happy, you know you're not called to missions. But when you have this longing that. Uh, that draws you, that's a, a powerful evidence. And then I think it's important to talk with your elder brothers and sisters and get their advice and the confirmation of the call that you feel that you have. Okay. Uh, what advice would you give to somebody preparing for missionary service? I would suggest that you, you spend as much time as you can talking with experienced missionaries that you take some short-term trips, uh, several short-term trips, and really get your feet wet. I would really suggest that you read not only the stories of, uh, of great missionaries and, and their lives, but that you would also do some reading about the nature of mission. What is missions? How does it work? Uh, what is the... Uh, what is the biblical perspective of missions? What does cross-cultural ministry mean? It's very important to get some education in these uh, subjects before just launching out. Okay, uh, the second question, uh, the next question is similar to this one, but what advice would you give to somebody who works with the Muslims or who wants to work with the Muslims who knows or who knows a Muslim at work and wants to minister to them? Uh, the most important thing when you think about ministering to Muslims is to first uh, evangelize your own heart. Uh, your heart first must be converted to the love of Christ for Muslim people. Uh, and unless that love is there, uh, the witness and the ministry will be more of a sense of battle or conflict rather than servanthood uh, and ministering in the love of Jesus. So it's very important that you grow in the character of Christ and love Muslim people. Uh, I would also suggest that uh, if you're going overseas to minister to Muslims, you spend time here interacting with uh, Muslim people in your area. If you have someone in your office that you would like to talk to, uh, about Christ, a Muslim individual, uh, the first thing I would say is uh, don't get into an argumentative mode of trying to prove your faith better than theirs. That will not get you anywhere. Muslims feel they have a superior religion, that Muhammad is the final prophet, and uh, so uh, arguing is, isn't good. Uh, Ironically, the Quran has a lot to say about Jesus. Uh, the Quran actually calls Jesus the greatest prophet next to Muhammad. Of course, the Quran doesn't recognize uh, Jesus as divine or the Son of God. They only recognize him as a prophet of Israel. But the Quran says that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary. The Quran actually teaches that uh, God called Jesus the Word of God. Uh, it teaches that God put the Holy Spirit onto Jesus. And many Muslims may not even be aware <clears throat> that these verses are in the Quran. I would educate yourself on these verses, and you can find those online. Uh, and be familiar with them and then just simply ask a Muslim tell me what does your Quran say about Jesus uh, and I understand your religion really talks a lot about Jesus 
Uh, and from that point, you can say, well, I really love Jesus because Jesus really has loved me. And focus on talking about your love relationship with Jesus. For the Muslims that we know who have come to Christ, it's that love that they have really been hungry for. Many Muslims are very sincere and they're really trying to know God and serve God. But what they don't have is the experience of God and of His love and mercy that you and I have. Uh, and so for them to experience and to hear about that love is really uh, interesting to them and, and often you find that Muslims respond to that. So focus on the love of Christ and your testimony of experiencing Christ's love in your life and uh, that's an important witness to Muslims.